In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a file in GageView Thickness. The first step in saving or transferring files is to create a database. The database is the location where all saved files can be transferred for a specific model thickness gauge. So in the lower window, if you click this blue file cabinet icon, you then need to choose which instrument you're using. So I'm using a 38DL plus and then you need to give it a database name. Some customers want to save the database on a network drive so it can be accessed by others. So it shows what folder the database will be saved in. If you'd like to change that, you can click browse and then navigate to different locations on your computer. But for this video, I'm just going to leave it as the default C drive and then click OK. So GageView creates the database and adds it under data. So I have example.38p. So the next step is to create a data set. A data set can be created from GageView to specify the type of file and IDs. A data set can contain one or more surveys to represent multiple inspections. So the first thing you'd want to do is highlight the database and then click the three yellow envelopes, which is the create new data set. So you do have to enter in a unique data set name and choose the file type. So incremental will ask you for a start ID. If you do 0, 1, every time you hit save, it'll increment to 0, 2, 0, 3, up to 99. If you did 0, 0, 1, it would increment up to 999. Sequential is kind of a range, so you do a start ID and an end ID, and you can do sequential with custom points. 2D grid, where you do columns and rows, which is very common. We also have boiler type files, which include elevations, since that's how boilers are typically inspected. And then also manual files, which we'll actually go over in a separate video. But for this video, I'm just going to do the 2D grid, which is usually the most common. Then the data set mode is where you specify what you're measuring. So if it's just normal thickness, I would just leave that as thickness. If I'm doing through coat, where the instrument measures a coating thickness and a steel thickness, then I have to specify when I build the file so the instrument knows to save multiple readings. Likewise, for any of these other modes, you just have to specify. Otherwise, get an error message that says only normal thickness readings allowed in file. So that means that maybe you're doing through coat measurements, but you created the file as thickness, so the instrument won't allow you to save the coating and the steel thickness. But for this, I'm just going to do thickness. You can put in a data set description, but it's optional. And then click Next. So then from here, I'm going to put my start column. 0, 1, end column, 0, 5, start row A, end row D. Then I can click Generate IDs. So I have it incrementing first by row, so it goes 0, 1A, 0, 1B, 0, 1C, 0, 1D. If I did increment by column and hit Generate IDs, it would be 0, 1A, 0, 2A, 0, 3A, 0, 4A, 0, 5A and then 0, 1, B, but I want to do it as row. You can also change the pattern of how it increments. So standard would go 0, 1, A to D, and then 0, 2, A to D. But if you did zigzag, you would do 0, 1, A to D, and then you do 0, 2, D to A. Sometimes it's easier to kind of drop down in the grid to start taking additional readings. So we give you the option to choose. But I'm just going to do standard and then click generate IDs. And then I click finish. So the survey file will automatically be created in gauge view and can be sent to a thickness gauge. So here's my data set. If I click that just once. So that's actually what gets transferred to the instrument and is read by the instrument. So from here, I could initialize my thickness gauge 
and actually take the survey file that test with the pencil and paper icon next to it and transfer it to the instrument. 